Hi everyone, Therese here. So I'm, I hope that you're all doing well. My intention is to, I got a, an exciting message from my spirit team today and, um, and I've been contacted by a lot of people who, you know, everybody needs support right now. I mean, it's important to keep reaching out to people and just checking in. It really does help. Like it, it you know, it, it serves on so many levels. Um, number one, it gives you peace of mind. Number two, it's an instant way of, of showing love and appreciation and care for another. Um, so keep checking in with each other. I got a, um, a really strong message from my spirit team today that I want to share with you. Um, I'm sure that you you might already be doing this. In case you're not, I wanted to share with you what they're they're giving to me. Again, another important part right now is it's okay to appreciate even in the face of so much uncertainty. It's okay to find joy even in the chaos and fear. In fact, I would say it's more than okay. I would say it's vital. Make sure that you're doing this. Make sure that you are appreciating and looking around and seeing the beauty. There's so much beauty present. And to deny that is is to not be fully present with our reality. There is a lot of chaos, there's a lot of uncertainty, there's a lot of confusion, but with that, there is so much to be grateful for, there is so much to be in awe of, right? This is a moment. Um, and don't, don't let yourself miss any part of it. So it's easy to think that because things can seem scary, it's easy to think that maybe it's the appropriate thing to do is be afraid or to shut down or to not comment or notice those we'll share the beauty. People need that right now. It, balance the, it balances us all back out um, to see that, to witness that and be with that. I was in that state of appreciation. That's where it started. That's where the message came through. And by the way, appreciation and gratitude are some of the highest frequency emotions that we can feel. It raises our frequency incredibly high. Um, and I do feel, per, you know, on a spiritual level that the higher the frequency we can maintain, the stronger our immune system is. That when nothing is certain, everything is possible. That was a quote I saw and I loved that. So when nothing is certain, everything is possible. Everything. And for me, what that did is it just activated a stronger level of faith. Faith in humanity, faith in the universe, faith in good, all of that just strongly activated um, personally. And I saw it reflected back. I saw somebody else saying something I, I wouldn't normally see them say. It was a private message, so I'm not going to go into it. It's just I saw them choosing faith because they had nothing left to choose. There was, when it, uncertain, they chose faith. And I thought, wow, what a beautiful um choice and then I thought about the experience and then I started asking about the meaning and that's when the messages started coming the in. first message was that it is important for us to assign meaning to this this event it is important for us to assign meaning to it and here's the beauty you do not have to pick a pre-approved meaning, meaning it doesn't have to be what someone else assigns to this experience. It does not have to be what I assign or, or somebody else in the media or a friend or a family member assigns to this event. What's most important is that you choose the meaning you assign to this event. And they told me this, that this is really important and it comes from a place of strengthening your own endurance. When you have decided what this means for you, it gives you internal strength. And they quoted to me, they like they dropped information in my brain because that's how my team works. So it, that's called claircognizance when you just get a, a hit, a download, if you will. And they reminded me of Dr. Viktor Frankl. And I haven't thought of this in years, but Dr. Viktor Frankl, he wrote a best-selling book called Man's Search for Meaning. And his book um, essentially talks about why it is so important for us to assign meaning and how that gives us strength. 
in, especially in times like this. Now, here's why I would listen to this guy. This is why I think his message is important and I would put stock in it. Um, Dr. Viktor Frankl was an Austrian neurologist and psychologist. So there's <laughs> point number one for him, our two points there. But even more important, Dr. Viktor Frankl was a Holocaust survival, a survivor rather, who survived not one, not two, but three different camps. Survived three different camps. And he credited this endurance, this inner strength to the fact that he and the, the people who survived with them, they had given the experience meaning. And it wasn't something that anybody chose for them. They chose it for themselves. So here are some examples of meanings that I've seen people give. And again, I encourage you to choose for yourself. This is not you, me telling you how to see this at all, okay? I wanna be clear on that because they they expressed to me, my, my spiritual advisors, if you will, expressed to me the importance that you choose for you because that's how you will get your strength, okay? Here are some meanings I've seen others ascribe to this event. One meaning, um, some people feel that this is an act of nature, this virus is an act of nature and that nature sent it out to rebalance the planet. And they see signs of proof of that, right? They see uh, the canals in Venice clearing up and dolphins and swans and minnows all coming back into these canals. That's one sign. The pollution over China reducing drastically in that area. Um, I'm sure there's more evidence of nature rebalancing itself as we go through this. So that is one type of meaning that can be assigned to this situation. Another meaning I've seen assigned to this, and again, this please understand, find the meaning within, okay? Find the meaning within. Another meaning um, that I've seen assigned to this is that this is an opportunity for humanity to reset, for us to look at how we do business, one, right? Or how we are connected as a community, how we treat each other, how we, um, right? How we interact day to day. Some people are choosing to view the meaning of, of this event through that lens. All right. The one I found that I'm for myself. And again, I know I'm repeating myself a lot. I just want to make sure that it's so clear that the meaning you assign to this can be highly personal. Mean It should be for you, for your strength. Here's what I see. I see that in the face of so much uncertainty, there is an opportunity for more faith in the unknown, right? There's more opportunity for faith in the unknown. And because of that, we are using our spiritual centers more. And I see that, I see the benefit of that already happening. I see people, I see the, the um, when I get, look into it psychically I see this this neural network getting stronger and more connected I see kindness I see consideration I see calm everywhere and I feel the connection um and so that is the meaning that I choose to assign to this for myself and that does help me reach in and find the strength so what I'd, what I'd like for you to do before you go to bed or continue with the rest of your day, if you could give yourself a little bit of time to just think about everything you're witnessing around you. How are you taking that in? How is your perspective telling you this, this event, what it's for? What, are, what meaning do you assign to it? Um, and remember, Dr. Viktor Frankl talks about the fact that the power of assigning meaning gives you inner strength. You can endure something when it means something to you. Do the things that you need to do to keep taking care of yourself so you can take care of other people and, and find that meaning. And if you have kids and they're aware of this, right? I mean, this is not a conversation you have to start if your children just are too young to understand. But if you have kids who are aware of this, ask them what they think. Right, just see what they're giving it. The the youth is our youth, are our magical beings. They're on another level, guys, and we should be listening to what they are.
picking up, right? They've got so much to teach us. And this is the time to really, li we have time to listen, so let's listen. Um, and see if their their perspective, their unique view of events can teach you anything. Nobody's wrong, by the way. That's the beauty of meaning. Meaning is just like perspective. We each have one and it's unique to us. And nobody can prove your perspective wrong because it's yours. It's what you see. And we need to hear what you see. That's the beauty is I, I honestly believe we didn't come here to figure out what was right or wrong. We came here to see everything. And we're all carrying a beautiful piece of the puzzle. Everybody has a slightly different perspective um, and every perspective is valid. And once we start looking around and listening, right? And as we listen to it, we see a bigger picture and it becomes even more awe-inspiring what we see. The second part of the message that I got from my regarding team. uncertainty, why we can't know more right now. Why is it from moment to moment we feel uncertain and we can't quite get answers? We all sort of, I feel like every time I kind of test the waters with people, everybody kind of knows something about this, but they're uncertain, meaning like they feel things like it's not going to last very long or it's not as intense as we're being told or that everything's actually going to work out everybody has everybody that i'm touching base with has this kind of weird sense but nobody can prove it so that's the uncertainty so i asked my team what's that about why and it's looking at the way that the unexpected nature of particles and matter and reality and frequency in quantum physics they talk about the observer effect and they've They've done the science around this where what you observe about something makes it so. So my team says the uncertainty is a very important part right now in healing all of this. And I said, ooh, uh, how so? Because <laughs> we would all like to know an answer, please. And they said that in the uncertainty, people are asking for more help spiritually. Help me. Help me see this differently. They are trying with their minds to see it differently. They are intending healing over, right? I, I hear people saying it. I can feel it. You can hear the, the prayers coming out. Let this be over. Let it be done. Let it dissipate. And they said that is very important energy and we don't want to interrupt that. Because what we observe about something, the frequent we the frequency we send out has a direct impact. So as we're thinking about this virus, as we're thinking about what it is and what it could be, and we are wishing and intending and asking for something different, we are literally changing gene it genetically. It's mutating. And they've they've witnessed this. It's not as intense as they thought, and it is changing constantly. So from the spiritual perspective, as kind of like cold as it might seem, the uncertainty is a very important piece of the healing. It's a very important aspect to this thing resolving in the best way possible is having that open space where people will continue to ask, to pray, to intend healing, to heal with others, right? To ask for healing for others. Um, so here's some ways we could do I that. You to play with this um, because what's the harm, right? It's n We're not intending harm. We're intending good. So if it works, we're awesome. If it doesn't, it didn't do anything bad, right? It didn't take time away. It really just, it's an experiment. So I want you to experiment with me now. Okay. So here are some ways we can use this uncertainty and our thoughts and prayers to affect the situation. From a distance, we don't even have to get near it. It's a frequency. Frequency can go anywhere. And everything is frequency. Everything, even the virus is a frequency and we can impact it. So here's some ways we could do that right now. Number one, you could try to picture something that you're going to call the virus as a like a cluster of molecules, right? And what I want you to do is almost play like brick buster on it. <laughs> like picture a cluster, you can make it look ugly if you want. And what I want you to do with just your mind, you're intending it to 
heal so you can surround it with light you can see it getting cleaner clearer you can see things popping um, you could see it uh, moving into something beautiful like changing shape creating a new frequency around it but it's like you can say and with that thought you're like it's lessening it's going away it's healing it's dissolving you could see it breaking apart dissolving that's one way that you yep space invaders however you you could just imagine that you are just like mm -mm, manipulating it with your mind that's one way to do it um and if you knew somebody who was infected you can also send that to them like just see them getting cleaned right so you're not having to work hard you're visualizing it and you're holding the intention that it's totally happy intend healing for spaces now i love doing this one and i did it with my kids um and they they're young they're nine and five so getting into the why we're doing it isn't important i just made it a game and i'm like let's put light bubbles around us and we're like putting a bubble of light around ourselves and I ask them what color and that's the fun part for them like right? they can make it any color they want and I'm like let's put light bubbles around the grocery store and we're doing that and as people come out we're like light bubble light bubble so it's almost like you're intending healing energy and protection around yourself before you go into a public place you're putting protection and um, healing energy around the place you can give it to random people all of that feels good and it has a frequency impact you're intending wellness for all now, here's the interesting thing it might not you might not see any evidence that that works but your behavior will change and that's important that also creates a ripple effect so as you intend safety and healing for a space when you're holding that intention, you go into that space very differently. Suddenly every person is precious. It, I mean, they are precious, but you see that, right? You're interacting with people as, as precious rather than like trying to avoid them. So the intention is different within us. And that also affects the space because as we interact with each person from a distance, we are sending out an energy that they feel and then they will give that to the next person. So it is it is partly visualization to give yourself peace of mind and intend wellness to others, but it also affects you in instantly. You become the energy that you intend. Um, and then of course, prayer, right? Keep asking, asking for this to be healed, be over, for the world to be safe. Ask 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 there we don't ask enough that's one of the things that my team has said to me forever probably like from the very beginning of me listening is that none of us ask enough and we we need to to understand that there is no limit to how much you can ask for they want you to ask 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 for help ask for healing ask to feel calm whatever you need whatever you see someone else needs the universe responds to more energy going to the collective so the more you can kind of offer those prayers to collective the stronger that sensation becomes the stronger the intention is and the quicker that that need gets served I want to remind people that keep talking to each other you know it's natural in this time to be feeling like you got this, you understand, it's all okay. And then something happens and you feel like you've lost hold of that thread. That's so natural right now. Um, and just keep remembering to reach out and ask for space. Even if you were holding space for someone else and now, now you're like, now I need someone to hold space for me. Please ask for that. It will help you refill your cup. Refilling your cup is the most important thing you can do for yourself and others at this time is to keep that energy, um, keep yourself filled. And know that if you need someone to talk to, I am still here. I am here, I'm on Facebook. You can message me in this thread. You can send me a direct message. Um, I will again put my email address in the comments when I'm done. Um, you please keep talking to people, right? And it, it's not about changing your mind. It's not about telling you to stop the thoughts. It's really about you acknowledging how you feel so that you, you, you do all the work. I'm just holding space. So if you need that, if you need someone to hold space, 
please know I'll be here. And I guess a final note, I'm sure that you've seen me counting down some big event. That is something that was happening well before this all started, but I have an idea of, of something a little extra, a little different with that, that I'm working on in the back of a project. That's what that's about. But I, I'm actually going to use this opportunity to connect with you. Have something more. that's kind of like this, but a little bit less like talky at you and like do something with you. <laughs> as soon as I figure out the tech. <laughs> so I've got three days, three days before I do that. Um, it'll be, uh, here's what I'll tell you. It'll be the day after the new moon. So next Wednesday in the U S is when I will be ready. I'm going to, I will be ready even if I'm tech challenged, um, to share that with you. Uh, it's totally free by the way, but I want to do something fun with you. Um, and that'll be on Wednesday and then, uh, and then you'll get to hear about the other stuff that I've been working on in my own life. But we'll do fun stuff, okay? And as I get these messages, I will continue to share them with you. Um, and as always, I am here for you if you need to talk. If I am at my own capacity, I will let you know. I'll be completely transparent. But I will also tell you as soon as I feel like I have the space, okay? So just know that you won't, it is not a burden to me to hold space for you. All right. I love you so much. And um, in all of this uncertainty and chaos, there is so much beauty. And the beauty is you. And I see you. And I love you. Mwah. Thank you for watching. Subscribe now and hit the notification bell so that you know the next time I release a new video. Until then, stay magical.